Hi guys and welcome back to the SN Studio for another Army Showcase video. Today we have none other than the amazing and talented Damien Headley. Welcome to the studio, welcome to Gibraltar. Cheers. So, we have the amazing um, Grand Tournament Final winner here with us with his beautiful uh, Death Watch, uh, which we will be showcasing today. So, uh, me and Damien met a couple of months ago at the Warhammer World um, event and I was just um, absolutely astonished by the level of painting this army has and I just wanted it back in the studio so he's come over for a couple of days on holiday and he's brought his whole Death Watch army or what's actually painted for now because there is you do have extra bits, extra bits to come and dreams to come for finished whole finished army and um, so and I, I think it's such a good standard that I wanted you guys at home to actually see how much detail and how much love this army actually has so Damien Death Watch what made you you, you do have a couple of other armies um, but what made you start the Death Watch army? Um, so every time I, ch I pick an army it's to uh, teach myself something new painting wise okay. or to increase a skill mm -hmm. um, I wanted to learn to paint black well. Okay. Um, and you do paint it very well. Thank you, sir. <laughs> um, and also really, really practice my freehand. Okay. Um, one of the positives of a Death Watch Army is the fact that they're from, they can be from every single chapter in, in the Imperium. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of possibilities okay for free hands um, yeah and it, I, I there mean, is a I, lot, a lot of to... possibilities for here which we will get we will talk about in a little while um so yes yeah, mostly about painting more than anything yeah I, I, i've got a grey knight army and i did have a sisters of battle army okay albeit it was the more the ministorum side okay so i had auto Z, uh, auto malleus and auto hereticus but i didn't have any auto xenos so, so i thought why not? Why not? Perfect. So if you want to check out uh, Damien's uh, Instagram, which is, uh, he has a lot of work in progress shots and teaches you a lot about how he's painting stuff, uh, check his Instagram out. Make sure you follow him. So Damien Pedley, you will actually see it just down in the band just below. And you also just started a YouTube channel as well um, with, with some sort it, of. Sort of. It's been, it, it's my personal thing that's been going for quite a while, but I've never really... Okay. put many videos in i've okay. just started to do more tutorials because okay. i keep getting I'll, pestered i'll, I'll put a link below anyway so people can check it out anyway okay so now on to the army itself so we've got one two three four five six seven kill teams painted up uh, for now yeah um i say for now because you do have uh, a vision of having a full uh, what do you call it uh, what shield so what shield so how that many is, that how is, many kill teams is that uh ooh. loads uh 20, uh, 20. 20. So you, you, there's still a long way to go. But yeah. let's let's talk, let's talk. go quickly and talk about every kill team because there's so much detail, so much love again, like I've already mentioned. Um, and there's a couple of characters which are actually friends of yours. Yeah. Um, and obviously, there's so many chapters here. Like, I think there's, there's so many chapters that I've never even seen, never even heard of. And you've actually had to obviously um, search for lots, these, right? Lots and lots of research. And lots of research on chapters. On yeah. chapters. So um, I just want to mention, just before we start, everything is freehand. So as you see now on screen, uh, a couple of the symbols from the um, chapters, every one of those is freehanded. No decals. It's crazy. There are some little, little, little ones on ropes. Oh, right? no, 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 there's no, uh, there are no decals, but there are one, well, to uh, just the, 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 I, th uh, I think there's about the, five sculpted pads just as I had them and I thought I'd use them. Use them. So okay. there's two ultramarines okay. with sculpted pads, as, uh, two yeah, space that, walls that's with sculpted the, pads. That, that, that's and the, the, raised, the raised one, yeah. so perfect. So everything else is, is actually freehand, which is crazy. As you can see, some of the banners as well are freehand as well. Okay, so let's go from left to right. Let's talk a bit about um, the kill team. So um, take us through for uh, through the kill teams. So, this was actually the first kill team I started. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the banner, although it's not it's not a like company ancient, it is just there for aesthetic purposes. Yeah. Deco. Was literally the first thing I painted in the Death Watch Army. Okay. I hadn't painted for six months and I thought, why not start with the hardest thing possible and uh, see how I got on. Okay. Um, and more than 
impressed. I, I genuinely impressed myself. Yeah, it's uh, impressive. Which, it which impressive. I, I'm very Different down on my. Interest. Well, I'm down on my own painting, so it was um, it, good stuff. Yeah, it, 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 it sort of inspired me to then just crack carry on. on. Good. Um, yeah, the, I, I mean, at, at this at this point. There was no real plan other than to get an army ready for GT Heat 4. Okay. Um, so I just started to do interesting chapters that mainly from the Badab War. I started to take them all from the Badab War, I like the, the Firehawks, yeah. uh, Raptors, the Star Phantoms, the um, yeah. Death Spectres, Executioners, no? Is yeah, executioner? executioner here. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and then and also started to look at some of the Ultima founding chapters, so okay. the, the new Primaris only chapters, yeah. uh, such as the um, Carmine Blades and the. What's that one called? Yeah, Sneaky Underneath, and the name underneath. Uh, Blades of Vengeance, okay. I think. Yeah, Dark yeah, Angel yeah, Successes. Yeah, I think it's that one. I've only written Blades, so. Yeah, could be something different. <laughs> okay. Um, so that was the first one. Mm -hmm. The. Uh, the the, ch the banner is supposed to be the watch banner so in the death watch codex there is a watch banner. Uh, i think there's six different uh known f watch fortresses with the banners okay i wanted my own so i came up with my own design yeah perfect. and it's uh, a, a male uh, an armored gauntlet holding a skull okay in the, to um symbolize symbolize the um the, the Imperium, and okay. then the underneath it, it says ex, extreme, extremis, which in Latin means it's basically like um, you know you're about to die. Okay. Cool. Um, so it's almost like they're the the last bastion against the the Death. Xenos scum. Um, okay. So we move on to next one. The next one was it this one? No, th it was this one here. Okay. This was also done for GT Heat Four. Mm -hmm. uh, again, more the same. It is actually the only unit that's not all um, intercessors or um, sort of aggressor, the big guys, because yeah. there is a single Reaver. Oh, cool. I don't even know why I put him in there. No, I actually didn't even realize that. Cool. It's, it's the only Reaver in yeah, the, the, the only Reaver. Phobos armor in the whole arm. I, I don't know the, the, reason why. the reason why I did it, but I did it. Okay. It's a Celestial Lion. Nice. Um, I suppose it was, was actually the, that was the first guy that I did the black armor test on. Okay. So, so probably if was you that. go back through my Instagram, yeah, it was the first his one. leg, Yeah. this leg here was the very first bit that I practiced on. Okay, cool. Uh, and then it went from there. Um, awesome. Okay. The so next one yeah. was here. Yeah, that's probably, that unit has, prob that kill team has probably one of my favorite models. It's the Gravis armor uh, aggressor there with the with the big skull on his. Oh, shoulder. the uh, uh, mortificators. Yeah, this was so cool. Yeah. You'll see now on screen again. Photo of him. He's one of my favorite there. So yeah, you you actually now started incorporated some Gravis armor. So yeah. uh, we've got the shooty guys, which I don't remember what they are. What uh, they're these incept uh, inceptors, right? Uh, yeah, and obviously the um, uh, aggressors as well in there. Yeah. And we've got a really cool sergeant um, with a chain sword. Oh, the, the Black, Black Templar, Templar. Yeah. yeah, with the um, sculpted robes. Yeah. Uh, and obviously the, the chain, the, the, the chain was really hard to do. Okay. Uh, mainly, uh, I mean, not hard as in to put the chain on, but it yeah. was to, to get it to stick. Um, and not to stick. More. Well, no, to do the little loop. Oh, okay. So on the, the wrists, I've done little loops. Yeah. So that the, um, the chain, it looks like it's attached to it properly. Okay. Um, the amount of time that I had uh, to, to go out, out. I was just out. thinking about a time consuming. I, at at one point, I just wanted to throw the damn thing yeah. across the road. Why did I start doing this, yeah. right? Cool. He's definitely put me off doing a Black Temple Army. Okay. Which I want you to do. <laughs> Which I want you to do. Okay, so move on now to some of the newer units, right? Well, the at the same time, we'll be just doing the... Yeah, let's do the kill teams first and then we'll go into some of the... The vehicles. next kill team was done for... Uh, the GT final. So okay. every time I go to an event, I well, like to at least bring a certain events. amount of new stuff. Okay. Uh, and Stalkers, right? Stalker bolters, thanks yeah. to you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, 
As a big thank you to Darren Latham. He yeah. was the guy I sort of bounced ideas off for the Black Armour. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I came up with the, the turquoise bit, but I, I sort of run it past him. Mm -hmm. So I think it was a, a good idea and he, he fully endorsed it. Um, so the, the sergeant there mm -hmm. is called Dazar. Okay. As in Dazar. Dazar. Yeah, yeah, just a mention from him. Um, awesome. There is also Castlands of the Rift. Yeah. And a um, Rainbow Warriors. Okay. Both were uh, chapters that were chosen by, um, so Max from Heavy Dwarf. Uh, okay. Sorry, from White, 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 Heavy, Heavy Metal. Dwarf, yeah. Heavy Metal. Yeah. Um, and then Tobias is uh, just some of the words for GW that I know. Okay. Um, cool. And yeah, they, they were the chapters awesome. they chose. So. Perfect. I, I have to say that the um, the freehand on the Castlands of the Rift was one of the harder ones yeah because it's got the chains right it's got the little red chain when going to towards the angle they, they caused me mental trauma <laughs> yeah i can just imagine that yeah. okay uh, and then we've we've got the three new killer teams which yeah. you've just recently painted which are paint no retreat no retreat nine they were they were painted during lockdown as a, a way to keep Peace yourself yeah. <laughs> sanity um good good so i i was i was uh, originally um doing my world eaters okay and I kept getting pestered by a certain other attendee at uh, No Retreat who um, shall remain nameless. <laughs> okay. Josh. <laughs> Hi, Josh. You all right? <laughs> um, he, he kept pestering me to just start painting something because I've been not painting for a while. I was, okay. I was doing more sculpting. Um, so I decided to do a load more stuff for No Retreat, cool. um, which was another unit of Stalker Bar Rifles. Yeah. Which have my two favourite models in the entire army. Which one? The uh, Iron Snakes. Yeah. I, there's something about that pose and the um, helmet. The re-sculpted helmet, which was an intercessor helmet where I shaved the front off and then and sculpted. Yeah, yeah I think you've got that on your Instagram, haven't yeah. you? You've got yeah. um, some stuff. So it's uh, re-sculpted to be like a Greek, like a Corinthian yeah, helmet. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, and then the black dragon oh, uh, with the with the elbow and uh, one of my favorite uh, head yeah. so cool. It, it's uh, the only. It's I don't know. It just it just looks cool. He's yeah, got the very aggressive. To, yeah, very aggressive. Even though he's he's supposed to be sniping people, he just like he's very. I've aggressive. got all the blades. I just want to kill stuff. Yeah. And then we've got another mention of a person. Ah, so we've got Mr. Nick yeah, Nick Baton. So uh, uh, as a, a thank you to a member of the Warhammer. TV uh, crew. Yeah, uh, I did a, a Nick Baton. I, I, I offered them each a a chapter yeah. um, of their choosing to add into my Deathwatch army. Uh, Nick obviously chose Ultramarines because he's an that's how he rolls. Yeah, it's um, not a good choice, Nick. No, it's if not. you're watching this, this isn't a good choice. Yeah. I need to talk to you next time yeah. I'm over. We're, we're not mad. We're just very disappointed. Yeah, we're, we're disappointed. Although yeah. I am, I just noticed I'm wearing a blue shirt. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's a bad move. Yeah, that's I'll be burning move. this later. <laughs> um, and what better way to depict Ultramarines than go with the uh, uh, basic a copy of the old uh, Third Company chapter banner? Yeah, or company yeah. banner, which is very good for this game because it's. Oh yeah, it's, I didn't even, didn't even well, think our of game, that. which will be on SM Plus yeah. actually. Um, if you want to join us on SM Plus. Go ahead. It's an awesome game against their own. So I, I can't remember the actual. Um, well, the, what the banner says? Well, the, the, no, the banner has on the the original one. It was a different high fleet, but I changed it because of the I did the colours worked. Okay. Um, I think that's Behemoth now. The the red and yeah, the Behemoth. Yeah. Um, and I think I, it's got Leviathan on, on it. Yeah. It, yeah. So I just wanted to just really change the colours. Um, but okay. it, it just was a it was a great thing to just try and copy and, and almost rejuvenate. Okay. Because um, I I think the one thing lacking about the Primaris range is stuff like back banners. Okay. Yeah. We were it's, talking about that yesterday yeah. actually at dinner. Yeah. It's it gives such a, a good um, feel to the model. You know, it gives depth to the model and it brings so much yeah. more to the model as well. It also has in this unit. The single most traumatic re job, yeah, him. 
So he's he's named Brother Juba. Yeah. After um, uh, I can't remember his name. Damon Hunsu, the guy that plays uh, Juba in Gladiator. Okay. The uh, yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah. I, I sort of thought, felt like the head looked a little bit like him. Okay. Um, and he's like my favourite character from that film. So perfect. Why not chuck him in? Yep. Of course. Um, That's character to me. I'm definitely. Yeah. And then we move over now to which one? We'll start here. Okay. Um, so another of the Warhammer TV guys. Uh, we have uh, Chris Peach. Cool. He chose Fire uh, Fire Lords because he was in the middle of doing the Fire Lord army. Okay. Um, you'd be a little bit disappointed because he's now doing the Black Templars. Well, he's my new, he's my best new friend then. <laughs> um, again, that was a lot of fun to do. Yeah. I swapped the legs out. I put um, Tartarus Terminator legs. Okay. Uh, on just set, that. Nice. Which basically are a very cool straight swap. They're exactly the same size as um, as the Intercessor legs. Okay. Cool. And I just think they look. Quite cool. Yeah, it just yeah, gives a little definitely. bit of very, very variety. Yeah, definitely. So I have another five sets of those, and, uh, four sets. So okay, cool. Be easy. Add, um, add them on. Yeah. Uh, also in this uh, unit is Ben Bailey again yeah. from the um, team. From the team, he's uh, he chose hi Ben. The, the, hello, hi Ben. <laughs> uh, he chose Jay Paladins, which is DIY chapter. Although they're not a legitimate uh, imperial. Yeah. Canon army um, or chapter. He chose them. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like his choice. Yeah. You just paint it. Exactly. Okay. Uh, it, that was actually quite uh, a test because I had to come up with um, a special formula for his jade. So he does his he does his jade uh, sort of. He, he base coats it silver and then does like a, a, a green over the yeah. top. But I. Didn't want to do that. I wanted to do it your own. Okay. So uh, coming up with that colour, which ended up pretty much spot on, um, was a bit of a challenge. Cool. Um, yeah. So the, the the aggressors, I I changed some of the aggressors. I changed the uh, the torso. Okay. With the Tartarus Terminator torso. Yeah. Because I think it makes them look very um, like mini contenders. Okay, cool. And I, and I love contenders. Yeah, yeah, I love them too. Um, yeah, the it it has one of the again this unit has a very very um, complicated bit of free hand on the uh, Howling Griffin. Yes, I can imagine that. That one. was um, again a little bit sort of made my eye twitch. <laughs> can imagine that, especially once you've just you just. Spent all that time painting those perfect quarters. Yeah, and then, then you have, have to paint, paint the over, freehand, the freehand over. over. Cool. No room for mistakes. <laughs> and then the last one, the final one, is led by none other than Mr. Wade Price. Yeah. Hi, Wade. Um, he chose for flesh terrors because obviously he's in the middle of a massive flesh terror. Yes, he is. Um, but also there is a uh, Mr. Ben Galler in there with his long nice hair. Another showing uh, off his hair. TV guy. Yeah. Um, he chose Blood Angels, and I thought that's actually quite fitting because obviously Ben has long hair. Exactly. It yeah. um, it's perfect for Blood Angels. The, the only downside is that I think that Ben should dye his hair blonde so I couldn't actually paint him I with agree. long hair. I agree. Just to, I agree. to make him look a little bit more Blood Angels. Yes. Uh, and what I wanted to do was go with a, a sort of pose that was very um, tight show. Okay. Brother Taicho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he holds the gun like that. Yeah, like that one, yeah. Um, it, it contains the only Black Shield in the army. Okay. Uh, so Black Shield being a guy that's um, either committed some sort of um, Wrong. crime or has run away or done, yeah. done something naughty within his chapter and he needs to uh, redeem himself. Yeah. Or perhaps he's loyal and his chapter's gone a bit rogue. Yeah, exactly. Um, yes. So I, I felt that as you can take them in normal kill teams, yeah. I thought it was just nice to add one into a, a, yeah, a primaris only one to yeah. a bit idea. of flavour. Yeah, I love that idea. Um, and also it meant that I could paint uh, paint one without actually loads of freehand, which is which is good. <laughs> for, for time. And a bit of a rest. Good for time. Um, um, so yeah, that's and then yeah, and that's all the kill teams, right? That is all the kill teams. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so. Let's go into armor now. Yeah. Let's go into the dreadnoughts next. So three dreadnoughts in the army. 
you've got a really um, center of the table, uh, massive dreadnought there, the, yeah. the Leviathan dreadnoughts, which we all love. Um, even those that don't have one, still love them. Um, they, they show. Yeah, they love them. <laughs> Aesthetic wise, they look so yeah. cool. They're a powerhouse. They're, I know there are a lot of points, but um, you know, it's 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 how it is. It's it's a beast in on the field. That's why it's helping points. But it just looks absolutely stunning. So take us through um, some conversions you've done there, some additions you've done there, right? So basically, all I did was add the um, sort of the bat banner. Okay. As almost like a, it would be a vener venerated brother in there. Okay. And I just felt a normal dreadnought just wasn't cutting it. So I thought. And add something, add something in yeah. to make it just that little bit more, have a little bit more oomph. Yeah, yeah, yeah for and, sure. Um, and it does, it does exactly that, doesn't it? It's built from lots of skulls, a shield from a Stormcast Eternal, okay. and the wings are from the Custodies uh, banner. banner. Yeah. Um, looks, looks really good. Yeah. And obviously you've gone for the Storm storm Cannons as it is. I think it's the best equipped one. Yeah. Deals with anything really, armor, Infantry, hordes, elites. It's it's for me. It's the best guns as yeah, well. Yeah. yeah. I originally had him with uh, grav cannons, but my my friend Gareth just kept hassling no. me into us. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Good Gareth. Well done, Gareth. Ten points for Gareth. <laughs> okay. And then we've got... Well, I'll never hear the end of it. If you say that. Then we've got the two contemptors. Okay. Um, we've got the Imperial Fist. Yeah. It just seemed right that Imperial Fist. Obviously. It's yeah. very, I don't know. It seems. Imperial Fist need to be very siege. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, there's not a lot. Of, there's no conversion work on that. It's just straight up painting. Okay. Actually, um, Nick Baton, when we were at the tournament, yeah, thought that that was a transfer. Yeah, yeah, I, I actually remember that. I remember. Actually. I, I actually I had to send him photos of it close up to show the imperfection. <laughs> I remember that actually. Yeah. Um, and then this one's the, a, the one? Lamenters. Lamenters. That's it. Uh, the checks were. Horrendous. <laughs> not doing uh, that the anymore. The blood do you have, do you have elementors? Do you have elementors in on? No, not no. not on the field. Not yet. No, because the elementors are supposed to have been destroyed. Yeah, so you just want uh, one, right, to keep it as. And and, all, and also in the the Death Watch fluff, there is uh, in the, in the story there is a um, there is a lamenter dreadnought, and I've forgotten his name, but he um, he actually joins the watch. Okay. Uh, and whilst uh, in the watch, he is told that, um, that the lamenters have been destroyed, mm. and he just becomes enraged, okay. and just stays with the watch. So I just thought I'd, I'd throw him in. Yeah, of course, um, really very fluffy. Yeah, That's cool. Yeah, cool. And then uh, let's go on to the big boy in the house. Again, so this was done for he uh, for GT final. Yeah, uh, I wanted to do something to try and win best. Vehicle. Uh, vehicle. Yeah. I failed. Did you? No, uh, yeah, it was won by um, Nick, uh, T, the, Nick T. Nick T. Not. Nick, um, he's the, coming to no retreat with the with chaplain. The, uh, with the chaplain dreadnoughts. Uh, Raptors. Raptors, Raptors yeah. dreadnoughts, yeah. Uh, which, I mean, I wasn't surprised because it was a nice model. Yeah, it was very nice. Um, so, in the, the GT Heat 4 and the final, yeah. I managed to get. Uh, with him, he won this vehicle, didn't he? He did, yeah. Um, but I managed to get three of the four awards on okay. both times, and I've done that. I've done that at pretty much every single event I've been to. Okay. I've never managed to get a quick, clean sweep. Okay, you'll do it. So I, I was actually a little bit disappointed. It, that. It, it's not. It's not flashy. Yeah. The, that's free, the, the free hand is pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, but. You know, you need to be able to see the 360. Of course, and when you have it on the cabinet, you can't actually see that. So flashy wins, unfortunately. Yeah, flashy wins. Um, okay, so what, what's the name of that dreadnought again? This one? No, uh, that, this one. sorry. The Land Red tank. Achilles. Achilles, that's it. That's the one. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to some of the characters now. So we've got a little uh, four-man squad there of uh, librarians, Death Watch librarians. So these three yeah. were built and painted an age ago. So they weren't... I actually found them in the cabin while I was packing up the rest of the army. Okay. I did those in 7th edition. Oh, wow. Part of a long long time. conclave. Okay. Cool. conclave. Yeah, probably for the, the formations, right? Because there was a formation, yeah. right? I had Seraphine Loth, yeah. Counts as. Because obviously Death Watch weren't even a, an army back then. Oh, no, no, probably not. Yeah. So it was before Death Watch yeah, had yeah. a codex. Um, yeah, so I had Seraphine Loth and then just two support guys. 
Cool. Um, uh, they're, they're again three duplicates. So we've got a, a, a red scorpions, we've got a, a Despe um, star phantoms, and Nova Marines. Perfect. So they've actually been replicate, uh, replicated. Replicated somewhere. somewhere else. Yeah, I can see the Nova Marines there. Yeah. And, and then the Despector is here. Yeah, and Scorpion, and Scorpion is, is somewhere. It's just there. Yes, it, it is. is. Uh, and the helmet and that I've re-sculpted from, uh, from a with a scorpion. Yeah. For, so from the, the Forge I'll do a Devection Squad that he comes with. Okay. And there's a there's a, a, a mini marine helmet. Yeah. That looks like that, but it's too small. So you, so you have to re-sculpt it. I've re-sculpted it. Nice. The demo. And then you've got the newer... The library. new guy, he was done for the GT. Yeah. Um, again, Mantis Warrior uh, shoulder pad was actually really hard to do that logo. Okay. Don't know why. But it I, was. I must have repainted that five or six times. Wow. Okay. The only one I've actually had to repaint. Mm. Um, my friend was just sat there laughing at me. Okay. Uh, as, as I was getting stressed by it. Um, then we have three um, watch captains. Yep. Who, they have different uh, knee pads. So I, I do, each watch company has a, has a, has a, a different knee pad. Okay. The, the angle of the red, uh, the red stripe. Yep. So um, two currently have kill teams to run. One hasn't yet. Okay. Uh, so we have my original. Yeah, Smash I remember Captain. I played that one in the live stream. Yeah. I killed him. I called him Slammy L. Jackson. I killed him. Yeah, but he he killed you. Yes, he did. I let you actually. I did an Overwatch. I remember that. That was quite cool. I remember, and then he smashed his hand into me, my my aggressors. Yeah. And smashed them up. Um. Nice this, this was one of the. This was actually the original Smash Captain before I did him. Okay. Uh, he was sat on my um, painting. Painting. Well, on my computer table, gathering dust <laughs> until lockdown, and I was looking at it and thought, "Yeah, I'll paint that." Paint him. And I'm actually really glad I did because he turned out really well. He is really cool. And he, he just screams Space Wolf, charging he forwards. He does. About to hit stuff. Smash someone with a bite stuff. Hammer. I think they bite as well. Probably bites. Probably bites. Only if you ask him nicely. Yeah. <laughs> and then, I suppose, what actually a really, really enjoyable conversion to do was the uh, Rampager. Okay. Obviously, a, a White Scar successor. Yeah. Uh, I've re-sculpted the hair to give him a top knot. It, it is an intercessor head. Yeah. Uh, so I sculpted the top knot. I gave him the um, Mer Ming the Merciless yeah. moustache. <laughs> um, the, the shield is from a Stormcast Eternal. I, I pinched uh, one of the little tassels from Space Wolf. Okay. Um, the free hand on the shield, which is a, an Inquisition eye with a skull. Yeah. That was, I think I did that in an hour. Wow. I remember you sending me pictures of that. It's crazy. Um, it's really hard to take decent photos of that. Yeah. But it, I, I just love the pose. It is that really That sort cool. of jumping about to do Smash. an overhand. Yeah. Um, yeah, then we went straight on after that onto re-sculpting. Um, oh yeah, the two chaplains. Two chaplains. I I, I love chaplains, and Deathwatch didn't get litanies until recently. recently. So yeah, like I didn't really have any. Okay. The moment they got them, I just knew I had to have chaplains because yeah. they are my favourite. They, and they look um, spectacular as well. He was made from um, Stormcast Eternal bits. Okay. Uh, I'd had lying around for ages. Yeah. Um, with a with a bit of resculpting on the legs, um, and resculpting around the chest to give him a basic copy of the uh, Primaris. Yeah, like the, the uh, old one, Chaplain. Yeah. Um, and then realised that they can no longer take storm bolts. Yeah, I'd I, I, the model. I remember. Literally after I'd finished painting it. I remember. So nothing you can do. And you don't want to chop it. Well, it's all I'm saying is it's a bolter. Now. It's a bolter, yeah. Relic bolter. Why not? <laughs> uh, then, possibly my favourite model I've done yeah. in a long time mm -hmm. the Black Templar uh, Chaplain. Uh, that was from a, a standard Primaris Chaplain okay. uh, that I swapped with a friend. Mm -hmm. Again, Josh, thank you. <laughs> um, he'd already built it, but I just didn't oh. care. I, I wanted it. I didn't want to pay full price for it, so yeah. um, he was getting rid of his white scars. So I had that off him, and I just chopped it up. Okay. Chopped all the the joints uh, and reposed it. Resculpted the robes to um, 
look better. To, to give that more, more of a flow. Yeah. And then lost my uh, marbles, uh, painting those Maltese crosses around there, <laughs> the robe hems. Um, but it was worth it. It was, it's, um, yeah, it, it came out very cool. Very well. Yeah. Uh, I, more, better than I could imagine. For sure. And then finally, Watchmaster. Watchmaster. Um, which is made from the Primaris Captain. Okay. And the actual Watchmaster. So okay. it's, I, Bit again, of both. Just took both kits, took a, a scalpel to them and started cutting them up. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've tried to make sure that, well, everything other, than, other than these three, everything is Primaris scale because I, I just don't like the the size of the the, no, the, the old ones. I, I, I agree. Primaris is such more aesthetically, it's much, more, it's much, much yeah. nicer. And you, you put them next to a, a standard human, and yeah. the, the, the size difference it's is just right. Yeah. No, no, it's so good. Cool. So, so I think we've gone over all the death watch bit. Now there's a little detachment of Inquisition, some assassins. Uh, so we talk about those are three. There's three assassins there. Yeah. So take us through those three. So um, the Calidus. Yeah. I actually, I, I don't know why. I just love. I love that model. Yeah. The the way it's jumping. But I, so I cool. wanted to do something very sort of death watch. Uh, not death watch. Um, you tell me. I'll tell you. Uh, Deadpool. Oh yeah, yeah. It's actually um, Deadpool's wife. Yeah. In the suits. Yeah. Um, and, and I suppose it's the only, it's, it's a little bit of splash of colour as well. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. The green and the, the red. It's very nice. Um, then shortly after that, I did the um, the Calexus. Mm -hmm. That was for a, a tournament a while back. Okay. Um, I, if I'm perfectly honest, I could do a lot better. Okay. Um, Just a quick job then for that. Yeah, I did it, I did it in the afternoon. Okay. Um, and then the um, the Vindicare, which is the last model I last, painted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, again, I did that pretty fast, but I perfected, well, not perfected, but I got a lot better at um, painting black by then. Okay. And I tried, what I was trying to do there was almost carbon, do a carbon copy of the heavy metal um, Modern. version of it. Okay. And I, I mean, I'd, I'd like to think I got pretty close. Yes, you did. You did. Very um, close. Looks spectacular as well. So you've yeah. got three. You've got some, one missing. You need to do one. He's one. currently in my painting table. Okay, cool. So you'll have the four very soon. Yeah. Which is a must. Yeah. Poor thing. And obviously, I'll, I'll sort of repose him because I don't like that weird thing that he's running yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. Running around, around the, the tube. Okay, and lastly, we've got a really cool unit of Inquisition stuff here. Yeah. yeah, so we've got the henchman. Yeah. Um, which is everyone there and back. Yeah. I absolutely love henchmen. They're not competitive by any stretch of the imagination. No. Um, they are chaff, but it's just a um, great way to kit bash. It is, and they look so, so cool. So much character in every single one. And every single one can be different as well. Yeah, so good. I, basically, I just get my bits box and just take handfuls out and just search for bits. And um, stick them all together. Yeah. The, uh, I've, I've had the, the heads on these ladies. Mm -hmm. uh, they were from the witch. Um, so we've got one, two, three. Yeah, these three. Um, they were from the vampire coven uh, uh, yeah. blood throne thing. Okay. Um, I've had them for absolutely ages. I don't even know who the hell gave them to me. When <laughs> you had them. Um, but I've been trying to find a reason to use them and... Perfect. Yeah, I, I, they're, they're very sort of Victorian. Yeah, they are. Um, Steampunky. Mm -hmm. um, this guy here was a, a show-only warrior what? priest from uh, Forge World. Okay. That was sold at, um, I think, the last... Um, games I went to. Okay. Uh, when I won my Golden Dean. Nice. And he he's painted to try and resemble my friend Tommy Saul. Okay. Um, who looks weirdly like Richard O'Brien. He used to do the Crystal Maze. Okay. Um, yeah, he's got the space wolves. That Tommy Saul is the space wolf yeah, guy. Yeah, the right? space wolf guy. He yeah. plays the guitar really, really well. Yeah. Really, really well. Really, really well. Hidden talent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tommy, Tommy is a wonderful human being. Good. He's but he he. he um, 
He's, he's quite ill at the minute. Oh, yes, is he? Um, and also uh, quarantined in hospital. Oh, um, I think. Hope you get speedy recovery yeah. to, to you, Toby. Uh, and then finally, we've got the two Inquisitors. Okay. I mean, I use him as an Inquisitor. Yeah. Or a, or a uh, priest. Priest, yeah. Or priest. Priest. Or priest. So we've got the two Inquisitors. The, the gold guy is a mixture of bits from... Is it? The uh, Chaos Warriors Sorcerer. Okay. Um, the Red Scorpions um, Veterans. Okay. One the chest. Yeah. Arms are from. Um, so cool. uh, Scions. Okay. The mechanical arm is from Admech. Yeah. Um, the Stalkers. Okay. The Stalkers. The rest of head is um, a Bane Blade Commander Head. Okay. The cane is scratch belt, and then obviously the the service skull so is good. the service skull. <laughs> uh, the lady is uh, a mashup of bits from uh, a black, not Black Sun Fortress, the Vogue Trader. Okay. Um, kill team thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the only real swapping is the the sword she's carrying come, came from that model. Okay. Uh, the feather came from her original head. Okay. Um, and then I gave her the um, the vampire head. Perfect. Um, and sculpted a, a sort of face mask. Yeah, yeah. And then used the dog as almost like a. Um, it's just, really cool. Just, yeah. I had no need to use the dog for anything. I just thought it looked cool. For the nice. base, yeah. Gives it a really good uh, flavour to the, to the whole thing. Really cool. Yeah, and that's that's the whole army painted up to now um, obviously like you said at the beginning you're looking towards uh, painting much much more yeah. but absolutely stunning uh, amazing job so congratulations on that and yeah hope you viewers at home have enjoyed that I've certainly enjoyed it um, and yeah thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you back in the next showcase see you later Cheers.